Hi guys! So today is going to be a different type of tag video because I was tagged by Leanne Says here on YouTube. If you haven't seen her, she is like the makeup beauty magician technician person who could make like 99 cent makeup look like flawless Dior fairies and Chanel people just applied it and patted it on her face beautifully. I don't know how she does it. She can check her out if you haven't. But today we're gonna do a tag video that she tagged me in called the closet confidential tag. And I like it because there's not that many questions. Like there's not a billion of them. There's just a couple. So let's get on with the tag. And I know I look like a punk princess with the purple lips. But you know when you get something new and you're like this necklace I got and I'm like I need to have everything like match I don't know if your mind does that maybe it's too harsh we'll see but let's get on with the video the first question in the tag is what is the oldest piece of clothing you have and none of my clothing has holes or rips in it none of it's that old except this and I can't believe I still have this it's from elementary school and is my graduating fifth grade t-shirt with the eagle on it yes I've had this for that long and it still fits me the plus side to being a chubby kid is that it'll fit you later and I do wear it on lazy days like like, what if, like, I'm painting and I don't want to get painting on my actual clothes? If I get on this, it'll just look vintage and more artistic, in my mind, maybe. But it still fits. I still wear it. I know. Maybe I'm just hoarding things. Next question is, what is the newest item of clothing in your wardrobe? And I have to say, does this count? It's thrifted. It's a flannel. It may be from the men's. I'm not sure. It's by the brand Classic Outfitters. Not urban, but classic. I love the colors. Did you ever, like, talk to your clothing? I talk to my clothing like they're people when I'm buying them. That made me, me sound like I'm crazy. But I'm like, you know what? You have potential. You look like you fit on a man. But I'm going to style you with, like, not style. I just throw clothes on my body. But I'm going to put it, like, around my waist. You can put it with shorts, denim shorts, black shorts. It will look cute with a white t-shirt and you can put whatever jewelry you want in it. I also wear these like shamelessly to bed when it's super cold, just lounging around the house. I love giant flannels that fit men and should not be on my body, but I put them on there anyways. It's like a jacket and shirt and everything in one. Next thing for my wardrobe is the most expensive item of all time in there. What is the most expensive thing? And it's a purse. And no one's really probably heard of this designer, but B. Morosky, I think is the name. My favorite. I love, like, the braided things. I love, like, he has puts, like hardware and I love that it has like an interior of a cheetah print. I've had it for four years but I saved all my money. I used to work at an office of all places when I was getting a good paycheck. I saved it all for this but I still love it and I don't know if I'll ever pay this much for a purse again. We'll just see. I need a new one that's more structured. Next is the cheapest most affordable thing that I wear from my closet and it is this scarf. I got it thrifting. I wear a lot lately in the winter. You might have seen it on my Instagram if you've been following. It looks like a gothic old granny floral print with black and roses and I love anything floral. You know me. I'm obsessed and I just want to think of more of ways to wear this. Maybe I could wear it as a shirt. Maybe I could wear it shorts. Maybe we could make this into a skirt. Maybe we could make this into a hat. Who knows? I just want to figure out all the ways to wear this all day, almost every day. Next is the biggest bargain, and this one was a huge mystery. I got this dress at Shop Wasteland. Look at it. Isn't it cute? It has all the colors, like blues, tealy, purple, black, everything I love in one. It looks like Tim Burton just had this as a curtain and just took it off and made it into a, this dress. Stress. Shirt. Dress. And it's by a brand called Fairground and I got it for $17. I looked it up online. I did some Bill Nye the Science Guy type research and found out that they sell this. It's from a European brand, but they sell it for like $125 US dollars out there, this style, and I got it for 17 bucks. You can't beat that. I loved it even before I found out I got that much of a bargain on it. I wore it to VidCon if you went, and I will probably wear it many more times. Again, you do have to wear a bandeau. I hate the word bandeau because it sounds like a band-aid for your boobs and that won't work with me but I put a tank top under it because it does show your boobies on the side you don't want the side boob anyways the next thing that was the biggest waste of money I have not one but two and they're both similar they're both gray structured Phil of the future called and he wants a 90s business mom this is worse it's like it looked like it was made from tin foil maybe foam from a set of a space thing I don't know cropped it doesn't even button. It has buttons, but it doesn't button up. It just like hooks together and it has this horrid orange lining. I got this, I don't even know where I paid like 
40 to $50 a piece for these. I don't know why. I have to say I do still like this one and it could have opportunity, but it's just too boxy and I can't figure out what to do with it. So maybe let's just maybe throw those away, but I can't. I sh won't. I should. I need to. Yes, let's do it. Put them in an incinerator. What's with this hair? Next is the bonus question on the top three things I wear the most, and I have to say I'm obsessed with this. I got this for winter. It is a coat, a petticoat, a beautiful coat. This is by Kenneth Cole. I know it's a brand name that's expensive, but my mother is generous and lovely, and she gave me this wool coat. It is warm. It has like a silky lining. The reason why I wanted this coat is because there's this movie called Boondock Saints that I was obsessed with in college, and this was definitely similar to that, so I wanted it. It's like a hair magnet, though, because I have a white dog, so if you see little white hairs, no, I haven't been hugging old men lately. I've just been, you know, Know, playing with my little puppy and this is so good I wear it so many times during the winter time everyone needs a coat that's really warm for the winter and that's my very favorite one the next thing I wear a lot is jeans California staple I think I'm trying to find the perfect pair of jeans and Vigos jeans makes the ones that fit me the best I think maybe I'm just looking through a circus mirror and I think it does and maybe it doesn't but I love it because it has butt pockets that's my top priority one of my not priority but one of my very favorite things about jeans if they have the butt pockets because you know I don't got a lot of junk in my trunk and maybe this will give the illusion that you got more junk in your trunk that is a trick that we should not be saying I just realized it has the floral like the floral I love the floral you get these at Nordstrom I get mine from Nordstrom Rack that means Nordstrom Rack is the place where you pay not 80 or 90 dollars for your jeans but you pay 30 to 40 sometimes 20 dollars for 80 or 90 dollar jeans and that's these and I always get straight leg or skinnies because I got the short little little legs the next thing that I wear the very last one a lot is what I call my Santa coat I got this for a video a makeup transformation it is something that looked like it just popped off of Narnia with this giant fluffy furry hood I wear this and feel like I'm at the center parade on Christmas but everyone stares at me and I don't care because it's got the shearling lining and I'm toasty warm and it has a cinched in waist and it goes all the way almost to my knee I absolutely positively love this Polar Express just popped out of whatever Arctic Circle. I love it. It has so many pockets and it's so warm. I don't care if they stare. Maybe they're staring at the beautiful coat, not how crazy I am looking at it. So that was just a peek into my closet of the Cause Confidential tag. That's a tongue twister. Thank you for tagging me, Leanne. I had fun doing this, actually. It was a lot different than usual. I tag Miles J Productions here on YouTube. I hope he hasn't done this yet. I would love to look into some of his closet because we have been shopping together before and I know that Miles knows how to shop and loves doing it too. So thank you guys so much for watching. What I would like to know today is what is the most worn thing that you wear on winter that you love the most? Your favorite article of clothing for the winter? Leave in the comments below because I am so ready for spring to get here. It's around the corner. When are the Easter bunnies gonna come? I need warmer weather because it has been raining for a week straight here in California. But that's enough complaining. I should get going. Thank you for sticking around and for watching my random rambling self. And I I love you guys and I will definitely be seeing you soon. Bye!